Just been switched out, okay? But ever since you took that video, whoa. I'm serious. Even the bloopers. I like the bloopers. The, way the bloopers are the best part of my show. It really was. That's why, that's why I want to wild out more, though. That's why I want to do, like, more uncut shit, more, like, more shit that's me-centric or more original to me because my bloopers are, like, bomb as hell. Like, if I could make, <laughs> if I could make all my shows, like, my bloopers, I'd be know, set. I, it, but I know a lot of TV shows, they do, like, after, after the interview or after the show or something like that, you know, I just come up with some name and they have it some more organic, you know, conversation. I think people like to see that because, yeah, they like the formal, but they like the informal, too, because that's when people say stuff that you're not expecting them to say or something that's funny and the whole, you know, people laughing, you yeah. know, people like to see that. They want to feel like they listening in on the conversation. Because everybody is regular people at the end of the day. But they want to see that on TV. Yeah. I think. All right. Um, so it is the Cool Breeze Show. We're not doing an intro today because I decided to fuck that shit. Fuck an intro. Fuck everything. Not to fuck everything, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway. You just today. saying that because we had t- technical difficulties. Uh, no. I'm saying that because I really mean it. <laughs> I really mean it. It's just we just so happen to have technical difficulties. Um, again, I have my friend Nisi Star, aka Janice, aka Jenna Six, aka Wendy, aka Captain Hook, aka uh, Kansas. <laughs> you have to explain AKA Sega Genesis. Nope, I don't anything. have to explain anything. That's not, that's not what I, no. AKA up. Sega Genesis. Um, take that. All right. ABACABB, that's the blood code from Mortal Kombat, the first one. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, man. So I have her Never back on life. here again. Never for life. Yes. Yeah. Right, listen, I'm <laughs> with it. I'm, I'm partially gang. I'm with it. I like it. I love it. Gang, gang. Um, <laughs> Now, um, we were talking after the last show, right? We covered a lot of stuff like Korea, you were stationed in Korea. We talked about the competition you won. Um, we just want to talk about those things and give people like another, especially the people who know you, the people who rock with you, the opportunity, and the people who don't know you, don't really know you that well to yeah, sure. get a, a even closer, um, I guess, sneak peek of who uh, Nisi Star is, right? Yes. All right, so let's start with Korea. Uh, Korea. So uh, I was in the Army for four years, and my first, very first duty station was actually in South Korea. So I had an opportunity to go there. Um, I was actually in a city called Waewon. It's like about 45 minutes from Daegu. So mm-hmm. I was in Camp Carroll, the actual post I was at. Um, I had a great ex- time there. I was only there for a year. I love my unit. I love the my battle buddies. It was a good experience uh, coming in fresh from basic training in AIT and learning just about my job, which was logistics. So I worked in a small, we had a small warehouse and basically units would order things like tires, copy paper, just anything that they needed. It came to our warehouse and we basically would make sure that they picked them up and got their items. So it was just a matter of learning how basic warehouse operations worked. So. All right. Um, now, you told me that after you got out of the military, you had a loss, one of your friends passed, and how that changed your mindset of following your dreams. Yeah, so after Korea, I was stationed in, uh, in Savannah, Georgia, at Hunter Army Air, uh, Army, Hunter Army, can't even say it now, airfield. <laughs> Tongue tied. Anyways, it was in Savannah, Georgia, and it wasn't Fort Stewart, it was Hunter. So, um... Anyways, yeah, so about a year before I was making a decision, I, th- I think that's how I was considering re-enlistment, but I wasn't for sure. And I, one of my close friends that passed away was one of my close college friends. Um, she was actually the third friend that passed away during my time in the Army, so I kind of took that heart for that reason, but also because um, she was really good about being supportive with everything. We've always talked about hair and just life in general, and she, at the time, had just made a major move from um, a different city, and she was trying to go in a different direction with her career, and it's out of nowhere, she just unfortunately passed away. I found out from another college friend, and I took it hard because I know that she was she had goals and aspirations, and and um, I, I realized that life was too short. I'm like, I'm not gonna keep living my life, you know, doing all these different things, because anyone that knows me knows I've done everything from fast food, I've, been in a housekeeper, I've worked corporate jobs, 
And so I made a decision um, along with a friend from church that kind of helped me like do assessments and different things to kind of reflect within myself. And one of the assessments I did exiting the military was uh, basically find out what kind of jobs would work for me. And everything kept coming up with creative um, jobs, including being a hairstylist. So I was like, let me look into this. Is this something I can get into? And when I realized there was an opportunity I could go to hair school, I was like, okay, well, let me see about some you know, different hair schools. And I was considering Jacksonville, but I decided that wasn't gonna work for me after Hurricane Matthew was not trying to deal with hurricane life. So <laughs> I decided to come back to um, Atlanta. I've lived in Atlanta before. This is actually my third time living here. So I was like, I already know people, I already know the area, so let me just go there. And I decided to go into hair school and I was debating whether I was going to go to Veda or, or uh, Paul Mitchell. And I went to Paul Mitchell and I knew right away that this is where I'm going to be. And it just kind of started from there. So I just went to Paul Mitchell, learned everything I could about cut and color. And I just tapped into something that was new, that was exciting, that was a challenge. But at the same time, it made me happy. And so that's why I stuck with it. Right. Um, now, obviously, you graduated from Paul Mitchell. You did your thing. Now, tell me about the Vegas trip. Okay. So a couple of months before she I graduated. She went to the casino and got fucked up, No, that is not true. Don't <laughs> so I graduated last April, April 2018. I submitted work um, with this contest called Beacon, which is actually, uh, there's an organization called uh, PBA, um, Professional Beauty Association. They actually mm. have this contest they have every year. And it's basically like invitation only. So you basically enter the contest. It's for students, uh, cosmetology, barber, and esthetician students. They get the opportunity to basically submit work, videos, or paperwork, just basically showing like the things that they want to do, aspirations they have after they graduate. So it could be anything from salon ownership to maybe starting a product line, just whatever you want to do. And it gives you an opportunity to be creative and show just, you know your work and things that you want to um, share with the world. So I, I entered the contest uh, last February. And I think it was around April, around the time I graduated, maybe a little bit afterwards, that they actually made an announcement on uh, YouTube, actually. So I was waiting, and I posted about it on Instagram, and then once I finally won, I was like all excited. And I saw my name on the screen, and I was so happy that I, I actually even took a chance to do it. I didn't know anything about the contest, and I still didn't understand fully what the experience was about. And so what Beacon is, is a three-day um, event. And at the time, it was in Vegas. Now they, they moved the location to Long Beach, California. But at the time last year, it was in Las Vegas. And it's just three days of just intense training of things outside of just being behind the chair. So everything from salon ownership to how to actually develop a product line, how to actually market yourself, how to develop as a professional, um, just everything. They poured so much into us those three days. It was amazing. And it's like, a if you get a chance to, to submit any type of work for Beacon, I say go for it because you have nothing to lose. Because even if you don't win the contest, the fact that you took the time out to think about things that you want to do after you graduate, it'll help you like change your perspective on things. How do you think getting into that actually propelled you into um, how you do how you do your business now? Um, thinking about product lines and thinking about uh, the different uh, price ranges you want for your products and things like that. Beacon really helped to show us that you know the professional side of being a hairstylist because it's easy to just think about when you're in school and you're being you know taught all these different things to prepare you for state board and to, you know to be a better you know barber hairstylist whatever but it makes you think about the industry as a whole because the beauty industry itself is a billion dollar industry so it's you have so many options and people forget you just think about okay i got clients i gotta come in today and it's like it helps to expand your your thinking process like okay what else you want to do besides just doing here do you want to be, you know, like I said, a salon owner? So it, that takes a whole nother skill set because you're not behind the chair now. You're in, in charge of the whole building, all the overhead. You're responsible for possibly, you know, providing products if that's what you're going to do. You have to deal with, you know, management, all those different marketing. So, I mean, we looked at all those different things and even having uh, people, past winners, come in and speak to us. And that's another thing too, like having past winners come back and say, hey, this is where I learned from Beacon. This is what I'm doing now. There was a young lady that was 21 years old and she has her own salon suite and she's running her basically her own business. I was impressed. What? There was another lady that she was like in her late thirties, which was great for me because I needed to see somebody that was like closer to my age. And she, you know, gave her testimony about her having, you know, children having to, you know, balance that time with her children as well as work and going to school and just hearing all those different stories and things just really helped like encourage us. And then on top of that, 
Um, I want to give a shout out to the tribe, which is basically um, some young ladies I met during Beacon. Hey, special. How yeah, you doing? Yeah, so one of the girls is named special. <laughs> I mentioned him. So he keeps bringing special up. So um, he's hoping that you'll send it to him. So I'll make sure to message. She told me you sang. Right? Yeah, so I wouldn't know none of this stuff if voice. she wasn't uh, informing. Yeah. So <laughs> during my last night in Las Vegas, I actually got a chance to uh, hang out with some of the young ladies um, during the Beacon contest, and um, it was awesome because I thought we were gonna like hang out and go to the clubs or something like that. We actually ended up like just sharing our testimonies and our stories. We prayed for each other. We encouraged each other. And I think we needed that that last night before we went back to you know our normal lives at school or at the shop. It was like that last kind of bit of encouragement that we needed for each other. And we still st we still stay in contact with each other now. Occasionally we'll just check up on each other, just make sure that we're you know in the right place. And just also we like to share like you know things that we're doing to kind of encourage each other. So it was awesome. Now tell me a little bit more about Eclipse. Eclipse is awesome. And so your. <laughs> And your uh, fellow barbers and uh, cosmetologists. I know you, you're the avatars. You do everything, but go ahead. Okay, I'm not an avatar. I'm going to say hybrid because she's I'm a cosmetologist the, and barber. She's the avatar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this space is a unique space. I love it because there's three different things going on. And it's basically like, I, the way I look at it is like beauty inside and out. So on this side that we're located at is the Eclipse hair salon portion. So you have a nail tech that's um, in the, the, the far end and you have uh, barbers that are set up in their little section. And then the other section is for the cosmetologist and of course me being the cosmetologist slash barber. I'm kind of with that The group. avatar. Yeah, <laughs> the hybrid. <laughs> the only thing so, she don't do is nails. Yeah, nails and makeup, so um, yeah. The avatar. <laughs> <laughs> So you have that section of it, then you have a section in the middle that's basically um, the gym. There's a guy, his name is uh, Malcolm, I believe, and he does like one-on-one, -on -one, like personal training. The name of that business is Commit or Quit? Yes, what he Go said. Ahead. And right now, as we're talking now, he's actually has a few clients in there, in there just getting it in. So sometimes Struggling. when I'm in here, <laughs> and he's right next door, and we actually, you can actually see them working out. So, I mean, it's, it's serious. So yeah. they, they have the music going, and, you know, he's out there yelling at them, encouraging them to do whatever they do. So it's kind of like a CrossFit kind of from what I saw workout. So, but they get it in. And then the third section, which is what most people know because it's up front, is called Jutox. It's a, a juice bar. They have, everything's made fresh and it's made, you know, to order, but it's basically smoothies. They do have um, some shots of light juice. And I know they have a few uh, food items. Um, so basically you can get, you know, healthy food. You can get, you know, Get your hair done, your nails done, so you can and get a workout. Get the in. whole package. Mm -hmm. you there's can. also a section too. There's like a wellness section, so you can get like the foot, you know, oh, yeah, so yeah. detox kind you of. You can get. It's almost like, it's like um, a, a human detailing shop. You walk in the door, <laughs> <laughs> you get you get your insides taken care of. Then you get your uh, physical taken care of, and then you get beautified. You feel me? And for the ladies, it's all the way through. You can get the hair. The fellas too. I mean, but the barbers, I mean, we, we get it in too. So I mean, Damo and I'm saying do really good job. makeup though. Like, well, okay, there are some guys who do makeup. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I see what you're trying to do. Okay. I was I was just trying to go with nails and makeup. It's like, ladies, you can get it all the way, like all the way through, and then we kick you out after you pay. You do not get kicked out. If you want to hang out with us, that's fine. We are welcoming. It's a great area. It's in Castleberry Hill. We're not that far from the football stadium and the World Congress Center. So, I mean, it's a great neighborhood. It's chill. And on top of that, I want to mention, too, that especially for this area, we have our own parking. So, and it's free. You don't get charged because I know some places charge $10, $20. It's free parking. We have our own space. So, when you come in, that's one thing you don't have to worry about is parking because I know sometimes it could be very frustrating. But we have our own parking. So, just come out. Hang out with us. You can sit and chill, get you some smoothies, some shot of juice. Come and kick it, baby. Yes, we play now, great music. <laughs> what is it that you're doing for veterans? Obviously, this is going to air after, but still, what is it that you're doing for veterans today? I mean, today, I mean, I should be out, you know, normally on Veterans Day, I really just like, yeah, I guess I'll go get some free breakfast, but, you know, I. I do, I am offering today like free haircuts. So this year I wanted to be different because usually the burning joke is like, you know, okay, it's Veterans Day, what are you gonna get for free? So I wanted to give back, so, but it's okay because um, I'm still, I like to give back anyway, it's just me. I mean, I've always done something to give back, some type of community service. So whether it's with the sorority, 
with my service in the military, just my personal things, I've always wanted to give back. And I do in the future want to do maybe something like go back to my hometown and maybe give out scholarships or something. I'm going to figure that out later. All right. That's yeah. actually kind of cool. Yes. Um, as you know, I am Peter Pan. The man that will that never. Go, <laughs> You're a cool breeze. The man that will never grow old. And you get, you're not Wendy. Jade is Wendy. What's up, Wendy? Um, Jade is actually the first Delta on the show, so got to give her props. Um, there was something else I wanted to ask you. I don't remember. Um, what about. I don't know. See, now I forgot. So I know we, we talked about so many different things. Like, we did. We yeah, did. We like did. We actually had technical difficulties. We shot this three times. Yes. <laughs> we shot this three you times. You were asking questions about Adidas or Nike or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to know. my favorite movie I went on about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She she kind of went in on the movie. That was like a whole five-minute segment. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, um, if you are in the area, pull up on uh, Eclipse Hair Salon, or is it Hair Barbershop? What is it? it the, the name is Eclipse Hair Salon, okay. but we do have barbers. I'm one of them, I'm one of three, and we have uh, two other barbers, and they actually have their own little section. So, I mean, you just when you walk in, even just to come by to get a tour, we could definitely walk you around and you can see for yourself. Like You're going to really love nice. it. Seriously, and then another thing too, we actually have a section. We're like kind of moving stuff around, but we actually have a section too for like if you know if you want to get like massage stuff like that. I think that's coming later, but I mean it's, it's a nice little spot. We have a section, you know, for different things. So we meet all types of needs. So and that's it. This is the Cool Bree Show. I have my friend Janice. I'm glad to have you again. Yes, I All really right. enjoyed it. So. Um, and we are out. Tell them where to find you. And you have to show the shirt. Yes. Yeah. You do have to show <laughs> He's the saying shirt. that because that was another thing I had to do. I had to spin around because I had my name on the back. But I wish I had one of the spin seats so you could just spin around. It would have been so much easier. Ah. Seriously. Okay. So you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I'm missing one. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. What am Snapchat. I <laughs> I have my Snapchat actually, but I don't really use it. I haven't used it in a long time. Oh. What Tumblr? are we missing? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. That's what I'm missing, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. So you can find me on those pla social platforms. Um, it's Nisi Star, and it's N-E-E-C-E-E-S-T-A-R. And let me show the back of the shirt so you can leave me alone. Booyah! <laughs> she did a whole 360. <laughs> yeah, like Babs. All right. Because there's a character um, named Nisi, but it's spelled differently, so that's in why. In Babs. Yes, that's my movie. Shout out to Holly Berry. <laughs> and shout out to Comic Pierre also, so I follow him on Instagram. So okay. Yes. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at underscore K-B-R-E-E-Z-E -E -E underscore underscore. That's underscore k Breeze underscore underscore. You have a good day, and we love you. Ha, ha, ha.